Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, you can't. Sure. Uh -huh. No, me. Wait, you it was in it was in the bear? In the you stuffed it in the bear? Misha, we can't. I didn't no, I didn't sign off on that. I didn't know that you I gotta call you back. Uh, there, uh, this is a crank call. Crank call. Hi. Uh, I'm Charlie, vice president of GISH. Welcome to GISH 101. Um, uh, I hope everybody's uh, in here uh, ready to go to do some learning, some intensive learning that we're going to do about teams and a GISH to build the team on. I'm Charlie. Uh, I will be hosting this shenanigans for the next 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how long winded I am and um, how much sense I'm making. If you have questions, please use the Q&A button to let me know uh, if you have any questions while we're going through. We're going to be covering a number of topics. Um, how's everybody doing? Raise your hand if you're doing okay. Raise your hand if you're not doing okay. Wait, no, that, that's everybody then maybe in the middle. Um, okay, I see. See, everybody's raising their hand. Now they're lowering their hands. Good. Uh, okay, so we've got a lot to cover. So I'm not going to beat around the, the bush here. Um, I don't even know what that expression means. Um, but we're not going to do that because we have a lot to cover. And there is only eight days. There are only eight days left of registration where you can invite people to this magical shenanigans. Or as I call it, magical nanigans. Um, just to recap real quick. This is your brain on GISH. We went over tools. We're all tools, really, because we get the job done. You're a tool. I'm a tool. I'm probably a bigger, big tool for some, for my kid. I mean, I'm, I'm a tool. So we covered the app. Um, we covered uh, registration and inviting people, et cetera. So you can use the app. There's a map on there with the geo chat. You can talk to your team on there. The Gish Bunker, check it out. Go check it out. A lot of stuff happening there. A lot of stuff. I uh, just want to give a shout out to Gishbot and the moderators there who are handling hundreds of posts per day right now. Woo! And the website. You can do inviting from the website. Um, and uh, went over a little bit about more about the app. You can actually watch that video. I don't know if the Mods here, Beeline or the mods can put the video link in the chat, but uh, we have a video link to the last seminar. Very professional, I might add, very. Uh, inviting friends in my account. So in your account, uh, there are two different uh, GISH referral links that you can use, which are pretty great. Um, and then we went to skills where we covered very important topics about how to invite anyone. How do you invite anyone? Well, you use the four plus one system. It's four plus one. Uh, and it's called the Mitch system. I, I want to make sure you pronounce that correctly, that there's no confusion. It's Mitch. You meet people, get to know people either in real life or online. You inspire them by being who you are, being the weirdo that you were meant to be. You speak about Gish, about doing good in the world, all the things, the various stuff that we've done. And you know you help them. You help other people and show that you're for them. You're not just somebody who is self-centered and wants to win that grand prize on Gish and the big annual hunt. You're a person who cares. And then if all that doesn't work because none of this is working, which it will, you ambush them. You pay for a registration for them. You you know you make it happen um, with consent, obviously. And then we went over the archetypes, which I'm proud to say that we have. Uh, we have the, we've done a bunch of data mining of your personal information, which is great. And we've figured out there are roughly six categories of people. These are the archetypes. They cover the competitor, do-gooder, artist, extrovert, introvert, little weirdo. I'm just trying to see how quickly Berto can keep up with me. Ugh, I'm so sorry. This is one of the most perfect circles I've ever drawn in my life. Uh, I added a little something here just to make it imperfect as an homage to Berto. And uh, let's talk today about what, what the, the topic at hand, which is already getting messed up. A gish to build a dream on. 
a gish to build a dream on. Yes, this is a corporate presentation, the likes of which you've never seen. Um, we are going to be talking about teams. And when we're talking about teams, oh, I forgot to I forgot to tell you. We we need to do a little bit more. We need to do a little bit more housekeeping, shall we? So for the next uh, couple of minutes here, what I want to do, what I want to do is a little thing I like to call upgrade generic. I want to see how upgrade generic. Okay. Yes, Berto, thank you. Uh, learning something new every day. So did you know that in the top tier for this year, there are some new things that we've never included before? I'm going to draw it, and then I'm going to watch you on the chat and see who gets it. See who gets it, okay? To do this upgrade to Shinari, I'm going to need my special scarf. One second. All right. Great. Here we go. Okay, so... Upgrade scenario is I'm going to draw something and I want you to then guess what that item is in the upgrade top tier because we have some mystery items that we've just announced. I wanna make sure you all know what they are. So let's, let's just do that real quick. Uh, you're not gonna win anything. So there's no reason to be upset or this is just a game. We're just having a little fun here. No one's gonna win anything unless you get this and then you get some cool stuff. All right, here we go. The first thing that we announced is uh, ooh, do I have block? Okay. Here we go. First thing, who's ready to go? Okay. Here we go. All right. So I don't know how to draw exactly. And then there's a humus, but it's also a fuzzy tail. What is that? Is it? Yeah, we got beeline plushie. Correct. You get a beeline emotional support plushie. Thank you. I don't know who got it first because you're all getting it right at the same time. Well done. Next, next, we have this. And there's a little, small thing. And it, it is a shirt. It's a GISH shirt. It's the official GISH shirt. So usually you just buy the GISH shirt in the GISH forum, which happens after the hunt. In this case, we are actually giving our upper tier a little incentive by saying, hey, if you want to get the upper, these are so, this is so comfy and warm. I'm a little warm. Uh, you can get the uh, official hunt t-shirt as part of your uh, top tier. So why wait to order that? You can now get it. So you'll be uh, able to order yours uh, as part of your top tier. Pretty awesome. All right. Another thing is we have, oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to do Okay, and then, so there's this, this guy and he's got really beautiful hair and he, there's a, there's a guitar. I don't know, that's not a guitar. The, you get the picture of what I'm saying. The, the, the web, yes, yes, the classes. Thank you. I didn't even have to draw the rest of them out. Although I kind of, I kind of want to do it just for fun. Maybe I'll just do, I'll just do Sam, Samantha Smith with her. She's so nice. Um, we have four classes to choose from. You pick one. They are four different classes that we did. We just did our two of our three Gish Fest upper tier classes and we had a blast. Uh, so for this, you get to pick one of them. There's Billy Moran teaching songwriting. There's Sam Smith from Supernatural and many other things because she's an amazing actress uh, teaching knitting. You've got Nick, I, I don't recall Nick's last name. Do we know Nick's last name? Mods, uh, Nick is a rad guy. We actually had him uh, join us uh, from Jamaica uh, to teach chocolate making, the art and science of chocolate making. That's what another one of them. And then uh, the, the fourth one is an amazing Photoshop and photo editing class with Riley Santangelo. So those are pretty cool. Check those out. There's one more mystery item in the top tier we haven't revealed yet. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff. And we're doing our last Gish Fest class this Friday. We are teaching uh, ASL. So pretty excited about that because my name is Charlie or C-H-A-R-L-I-E. That is that you're just looking at me smugly right now because that, is that okay? 
Um, I just I started learning uh, recently. Okay, so moving on. The recap, we already did the recap of last seminar. Um, yes, Nick Davis, I believe is his name. Excellent. If you want to put on your 3D glasses, you can now see today's seminar's outline. You can't even really see the second color. It doesn't even work actually. I'm just, I did two pens at the same time. I don't know if you've ever done that before. Um, anyway, our seminar outline for today, very important. We are going to be talking about communication structure. So team, this is about teams now. So if you want to have a rad team, this is, this is the way to do it. Um, yes, we have ghosting, merging and locking, commandments, and then a, a last sixth item that you probably don't need to know about. All right, so let's, let's get into it, shall we? We're going to talk about communication. I'm going to draw illegibly because we have a lot to cover, okay? So here's the deal with communication. I'm just getting my notes here. Uh, how many of you, uh, raise your hand, please, if you've done GISH before. You see, 15, 30, okay, 50,000, 200 million. Oh, wow, most of you have. Most of you have done GISH before. This is excellent. Um, man, that's great. Okay, good. Well, we're not gonna go over, uh, we're gonna go over it a little bit more in detail because there are things that we need to know about here. Um, and uh, we just wanna go over, because communication is key and vital to not only having a great time in GISH, but also potentially winning. Um, I've had the chance to be on several winner's trips um, where I got to meet the team that won and we got to do an amazing time in some exotic location, which we're hoping to do again very soon. Um, we always have a great time. Uh, I would say, it's part of the reason I started working here is not only getting to do good, but also to go somewhere with uh, an illustrious group of people and creative people who work really hard to try to change the world. Um, so communication is vital. Um, so don't wait until the hunt starts to communicate with your team. Don't wait. So one, don't wait. Um, communication is a universal uh, unifier. It is a, a universal problem solver. Um, it can do some really incredible stuff. But if you're not communicating, then that's not possible. So uh, don't wait until then to, and you really wanna work out how your team operates in that rhythm. So, you know, where are your team members? What regions are they in? What are their time zones? You know, honestly, the more regions, the better. The more diversity in your team, the better your chances of, of putting up a, a great performance in GISH, if that's your thing. If you're in it just for fun and you're not about any of that, any of the competition or doing as the best possible job on every single item to try to achieve some level of, I don't know, notoriety, let's say, then all good. But it's also awesome to meet new people from around the world. We're in over a hundred countries and I don't think I've ever met uh, a team that won with fewer than two different countries represented, usually more, usually several. I know one team I went on uh, was from Greece and Germany and Canada and, uh, you know, I thought it was a Denmark. Anyway, there's so many rad people in the world and you get to meet these people, which is be the best thing ever. So that's, don't wait, obviously, don't wait. Uh, get to know your team, you know, find out who they are, where they're from, what are their interests, what are their skills, what do they love doing? Chat in your in the app, chat on whatever you want. We're gonna go over some places where you can do that. And then, you know, you how do you how do you want to communicate before, during, after the hunt? What are the best channels for everybody? For, try to figure out something that works for everybody so that everybody has a chance to communicate and work together. Okay. Um, you know, a little a little sidebar note on that. Uh, so how do you want, that's not how you spell that, to communicate. Um, a little sidebar note, uh, many teams stay connected after the hunt. You make what we call GFFs, Gish Friends Forever. It's like the best summer camp meets being in the trenches of like a really brutal skirmish. Um, so a lot of people come together over that uh, torture, tra uh, trauma, um, fun time. And, uh, you know, 
you want to stay connected and stay friends, you can also email your team. The team captain can do that. Uh, you can see everybody in the app or on the site. Uh, there's slight differences between the app and the, um, the website in terms of what the features are, just slight differences. Um, but you'll want to make sure that you figure out a way to communicate. And we'll go over some places and platforms that help you do that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so how do you want to communicate? And within that, figure out some platforms. So because the hunt is, I mean, it's eight days, but it feels like it goes by quickly. And then alternately, so sl slowly, it's it, you want to burn your eyes out. Um, you want to, there are a couple of ways that you're gonna to need to check transfer information and decide things and all that. So, uh, you know, is it is it email? Is it, uh, I'm not gonna write all these out. This is just, anyway, is it email? Is it WhatsApp? Is it WeChat, Discord, Facebook, Pony um, Express, training a dog to bring a bone with words on it? Is it Morse code, semaphore, telepathy? It's totally up to you. It's based on whatever works for the entire team. If one person doesn't have telepathy, just beam them a signal telling them maybe they should check it out and download the app and upgrade their whole system. You know what I mean? Um, carrier pigeon, yes. Messages and bottles, also good. Also a good idea. Yep. Sarah says she uses Facebook and Discord. Both are good options. Yes. Uh, smoke signals, also a great idea. Yep. Um, yeah, Discord's fun too. There's a lot, a lot of cool stuff going on in Discord. We don't have an official Discord yet, just FYI, uh, in case somebody said we did. We don't. Uh, and then, you know, uh, how, it looks like ho, I wrote how, just so we're clear, how uh, often, how often do you want to check in? How often is there a regular meeting? Are you, uh, you know, going to check in all the time? Is there always going to be some, is the chat always open during certain hours? You know, how do you check, check in on everybody? You know, um, seeing some questions. Maggie Martin says, what if you can only do the hunt a couple of days and not the whole week? That's okay. This hunt is open to interpretation, just like art. You have the chance to have the experience you want. You just got to communicate with your team and establish what you can and can't do. What are your boundaries? It's actually a good lesson. What can you do? What do you not have the bandwidth for? What are you good at? What are areas that you're still working on, et cetera? Uh, let's see, yeah. And if you're in the chat there, just feel free to share, um, you know, how you as a team in the past, you've done this before, Gish Veterans, if you wanna share how you have communicated, go for it. Um, we're here to share information and this is very casual. Obviously look at the way I just, I got dressed up because I don't have enough human contact and I have no reasons to get dressed up. I'm just, oh, I'm just getting dressed up. Um, so this is how, this is, uh, those are those points. Um, good. Are there any, do you have any questions about this so far? Anybody have any tips they want to share too? Okay, someone doesn't have a team yet. We can talk a little bit about that. I've never had a team because I'm terribly shy and I have trust issues. So do I. Just kidding, not kidding. Um, we use WhatsApp, someone just said. That's awesome. Um, introverts, yes. Yeah, Facebook Messenger is my BFF. I mean, the fickle friend, but great. Um, okay, so this is communication. The other thing I just wanted to say about, like, sort of while we're here is stay in contact during the hunt and agree to what you agree, okay? Um, if circumstances ar that arise that impact you getting a task done, then and it happens, trust me. Like, I'm gonna get a little metaphysical for just a moment, okay? Like, we have an intent or a desire and we're like, oh, I'm gonna go after that thing, right? Well, then immediately, the forces of the universe are like, wait, no, you can't be creative. You don't have time off. Don't, don't even, you won't even think about doing that thing. Gish is a metaphysical exercise in achieving impossible things and I mean uh, inane for inane reasons and then getting to this is the goal okay 
I don't know if I can like explain that any better, but you're going to experience the world and the people around you maybe when you decide to gish to come and try to block your way. Like suddenly we, I've talked about this with Misha, like when you make big decisions in your life, sometimes the universe conspires against you until it conspires with you. And the idea is to make that conspiracy something that the universe is in on, okay? So that can happen, okay? But so communicate, communicate through that. You know, go, the, the way out is going through it, okay? Um, and in our next session, we'll be talking a lot about the hunt itself and submissions and all of that stuff, how to upload your work, how the hunt works, all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> Shiren says, who are you calling a name? I'm calling myself a name, first and foremost. And I'm glad to have you with me for that. Um, Sonia says she uses a, a Facebook group. They use Facebook Messenger. And then they have a shared Google Drive. Cool. Cat Wheeler still says, I have no idea what to expect. Perfect. You're in the right place. Confusion is our jam. Um, and, you know, the other thing I will say is, you know, if you're using social media is, and we'll get to this in the other, the other session is you want to make sure that the accounts you're posting these things on for the hunt are public so that we, the judges and harsh reviewers can see them. Okay, it's very important. Um, yeah, Felicity says, don't forget to scream into the void now and then. That is communication. Screaming into the void is a form of communication with the universe. It absorbs all of it into the, the darkness. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for the hunt. I've got lots of dryer lint safe. This is a good point. You never know what will be on the list. So something you're hoarding right now, or I should say collecting, uh, may not be the thing in the list. Just saying, you never know. Um, yeah, Ashley says, I forgot to make my post public. Um, and I will say this, communication doesn't have to be, you can take things seriously without being serious in the endeavor. You know, you don't have to, uh, you know, rule with an iron fist. But we'll go over structure in a moment. So it's up to you to decide how you want to rule. But you don't have to do that. You can take something seriously without being serious in how you do it. Cool. Um, team Discord is great. Hunt updates, claiming items, etc. We'll talk about claiming items in just a moment for sure. Um, do you have any other questions about communication? Anything else? Uh, anything else we missed here? Just communicate. When in doubt, communicate. Talk to your captain. Um, talk to your teammates. Find out who they are, what they do, et cetera. Okay. Don't wait. Get to know them. Okay. Next. Next, let's talk about structure. Structure. Um, like I said before, I've been on several uh, winners trips and met the top teams. And I've met lots of the runners up as well. Um, the thing that is most immediately evident is each team was completely unique in how they operated their team. Uh, so there's not a one right way to do it. Communication, though, with on those teams was massive. Like communication was the keystone piece of it. Um, and you know, communication also will help you get through that moment the list drops and you're like, there's this, 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 I can't do this. That's okay. That communication with your team, you're in it together. Just like in the rest of the world, we are in it together, okay? Um, but let's talk about structure. I have never met a team that operated uh, with the same structure. I've met teams that had one central figure and everybody sort of followed what they did and they organized everything and then you know, there was somebody delegating each piece or like a second in command and there was a whole like, pie chart hierarchy of like this and then that, and then, then they go back here and then they sit, it's very organized, very organized. I've also met, okay, well, I'm not gonna mention which team this was, but they had, and I don't remember the name, but they had a system that had a name and it was like this AI system almost that they were like, it's the spreadsheet. Oh, they called it the architecture. It was straight up science fiction. It was amazing. Their system helped them do it in a way that was very socialized. Like they were all on an equal footing. So when I emailed the captain, they're like, yeah, I mean, I'm the captain, but I'm not really the captain. And I was like, what is that? How does that work? And she said, we don't, we operate autonomously using the architecture. And I was like, this is amazing. Awesome. 
Um, so you never, you need to find the structure that works for you and you need to be able to communicate effectively. Those are the two big things um, that I've seen on all of the teams. And if you ask Misha, I'll tell you the same, like there are things that Gisher individually can do, but as a team that communication and finding the structure and deciding on that and like changing it and pivoting it if you need to, et cetera. Anyway, uh, structure, let's talk about structure. So who does what? So who, uh -huh. um, who does what? So when the list arrives of challenges that you will be embarking on, it is going to be someone's job to either divvy up or it'll be the team's job to figure out who is doing which items, reviewing those items. There are some people who take the list and put it into a different format for themselves. I won't get into that right now, um, but you wanna figure out who is doing what. You can claim items, um, which is interesting. I mean, there's various methods of claiming items, right? So there's a way to claim items in the system, which actually I can screen share real quick and show you how that works. But claiming items is basically going, this one is assigned to me, I will do that one. And there's a way in the list itself to be able to do that, or you can do it yourself. There are other ways of claiming items in real life. There's eeny, meeny, miny, mo. There's coin tosses, there's Rochambeau, there's jello wrestling, there's grabby hands. I'm not, not this, not grabby hands. Who put, who put this, who put this on here? Grabby hands. That's not, that's not, what? All right, let me, let me just go ahead and uh, screen share for a second. And apologies, this is gonna take a second. I think this is it. Can you all see that? I hope so. Please let me know if you can see it. Um, and mods, if you could just uh, spotlight Berto for me. Uh, that way, that way it will all make sense. Okay, if you can spotlight Berto. Um, so let's talk about uh, claiming items for a second. So this is sort of what the hunt list looks like. Um, I'm not that? spotlighted. Hey guys, can we spotlight Berto? Is there, is there, are you having trouble? Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can spotlight. Hold on, sorry, I'm just uh, spotlight for everyone. Here we go. There we go, awesome. All right. So this is a little breakdown on the list here. You've got an item here with 66 points. There's a submit button. There's an assign right here above this like little description here. And that assign will actually give you a team member to do. And then you can filter different things by like, hey, did we assign this to stuff? Is there something assigned to me? You can click on these filters to give you a view of what you need to be doing, okay? Um, you can claim, you know, as many, there's a bunch of items you can claim, obviously. There's going to be lots to go around. But um, we recommend, obviously, especially to the people who are new playing, um, that you look through the list and find some fun things to do or find some things you think are doable and just try those first. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't ghost out on people, which we're going to talk about in a second. But, you know, find a few things to do and then let's party from there. Um, so you want to review the, the item maybe as a team, if you do, uh, who uploads the, the final version of that submission, you know, you, it's a photo or video, um, or maybe a screenshot. Um, but you basically want to figure out who uploads the final submission and then the person who completed the item or is someone else who's allocated to it is it, some teams have one person uploading all the items. Some teams do not. So that's kind of a, an interesting little thing there. Um, how many, so Flavia, hello. How many items are available on average? We used to have a limit on item claiming. Uh, I believe we removed that because we got complaints and it also just seemed like a, not a workable system. So I believe you can claim as many as you want to. However, you have to be careful. Like don't go chasing waterfalls. No, that's not the word, what I was looking for. You don't want to claim something that other people might be doing. You want to work that out. Again, communication, okay? Um, 
So who's uploading? Um, who uh, is, you know, um, you know, all the people who work on that team are going to be getting the, the, the hunt points, right? So it's not like one person's getting more points for uploading. Just remember that. Um, when do you want to do the upload? Do you want to leave it? You, first of all, you don't want to leave it for until the end. Trust me, that is a bad idea. Um, and uh, you, you know, the GIF servers get overloaded. When the list drops and when uh, it's the final hours, it, you want to upload early and often if, if you can help it. Um, and uh, we'll cover that more in the next session. Um, so, so that's, that's what that's about. All right, can you see we're back to us now? Spotlight, all right, next. Next, what we're gonna be talking about. So we've talked about structure, we've talked about communication and structure. Now, we wanna talk about an infamous character. Look. I just left the frame. What did I just do? What did I just do? No, it's not a, no, it's not Pac-Man. It's, it's not an octopus. Guys, it's a ghost. That's right, it's a ghost. Okay, so let's talk about ghosting for a moment. Um, it happens, we know what happens. Each year we as GISH try to do more and better work to isolate, identify possible ghosts and then isolate ways to reduce the number of ghosts that I can share a little bit about, but I'm not gonna share everything. There is, oh, it's too spooky for me, okay. You're also just saying that to me, Beeline. You're not saying it to everybody else. Um, we are ghost busting uh, behind the scenes and we have been. Uh, we've been trying to reduce the number of ghosts each year and the, based on the surveys, it's really interesting. The number of ghosts reduces each year. And then total number per team reduces each year, which is great. But there's still ghosts are people who don't have a body. No, people who wow disappear. Um, I would love to fill up this ghost. Pinky, not pinky. Uh, I would love to fill up this ghost with reasons you think, and we actually did uh, a survey this year and we asked a question, did you ghost? And people answered yes. And we asked why. Do you wanna know some of the top reasons why people ghost? Or can you give me some ideas of what you think it might be? Let's see, yep, overwhelmed. Oh man, this looks like the Jared Leto Joker. That's awful. Okay, let's change that up. Anxiety, yes, anxiety. They feel anxious, they see, all the pressure of the hunt and they start to feel uh, some negative thoughts, totally. Um, yeah, depression's on, uh, work, work, uh, kids, uh, fear, yeah, fear of failure, fear of meeting new people, fear of a lot of different situations. Uh, Emily says life got in the way, that is exactly right. There are, we had one team who's had a their person on their team that had their house burned down. There's natural disasters. There's people who pass away in the middle of a hunt. There's people who have babies in the middle of the hunt. People who have different crises, they get sick. Um, this is unfortunately a part of life. Um, there will people who, there will be people who disappear when you need them. And there will be people who you depend on who can't be there for you. Um, we have to have as much patience as we can with these people uh, because we don't know the situation. And sometimes we will. Oh, good. Rebecca says alien abduction. Thank you. Yes, that, that is also on the, the survey. It's, it's quite frequent with Gishers, I think. Um, but we have to have patience and a little kindness and compassion. Um, it's unfortunate. And we, we do our best and we keep trying new things and experiment with new processes on the other side of the, the uh, curtain to figure out ways to avoid people being ghosted on or whatnot. Um, one way uh, that we've implemented that we haven't spoken about publicly is we look at people who log into their accounts um, before the hunt, a week before, a couple of days before, 
before we do our team merge. And if they're active or they've invited people or they've you know, been active in the app, we generally typically go, okay, maybe those people are active and will be engaged in whatever it is. So you may have joined Gish as an individual, you may not have, um, but it happens for a variety of reasons. And these are just, um, just a few, and there are many, many more. Um, we're gonna talk about merging in just a moment too. Um, so I had that, to, yeah, that should be on the list. But here's the deal, um, don't go stun your team and leave them stranded in the wilderness alone, okay? It's, uh, they're counting on you, okay? If something comes up for you, communicate. It's good team work, okay? Um, please let your captain know what's going on. And then, you know, the rest of the team will have a better experience. Um, and if you're feeling anxious, talk to your captain about that too. Honestly, the name of the game here is fun and changing the world. And part of that changing the world is changing our world. So if you're feeling action, anxious, moving into a place of calm and relaxed sort of fun, you want to change your world too, not just the right rest of the world. Um, uh, do, 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 let me see. What if people? Oh, okay. Team sizes. Yes. Team sizes. Um, I'm going to say this again. We're going to post it more publicly. Um, minimum of five people this year. Five people. It used to be years ago, a minimum of 15 people. Everybody got merged if you didn't have a team of 15. It's no longer like that. We're gonna talk about merging and locking in the next section. Uh, but anyway, your team needs you, your party, your group needs you. Okay, so please don't ghost for, they need you for camaraderie, they need you for friendship, and maybe even they need sort of emotional sustenance. Okay, um, global exploration can be wild and a little funky and like new things are happening and you're exploring new places just like Gish, you know, work together in the trenches. Um, you know, we've also, uh, anyway, we understand that this happens every year, we get a little bit better on it. Um, we've also, if you're not in a place to be able to do a lot, go into the Gish bunker and find there's a group thread. Hey, I'm just looking to do a couple items. I don't have a ton of time, but I wanted to contribute to charity and I wanna have some fun. Or, you know, I have a child that, you know, maybe wants to do an item from the kids list, the kids menu. Um, so yeah, um, that is ghosting, Woo merging and locking. Do we know what merging and locking is? Who knows what the team merge is? Does anybody know what that is? Team formation. All right. So a few key dates. So let's start with the most, uh, immediate one, okay? So, January 21, registration closes. Now, for about 24 hours, there will be time so that you can find other registrants and have them come onto your team. We will give you that time to finish building your teams. Did you know that you get GISH points individually the more you build your teams? So if you can complete your team and get that all done, did not mean to say January, meant to say July. I'm already in January because that's how my mind works. <laughs> I'm already thinking of the next months ahead. So what is time? Thank you, Ashley. It's July, Felicity. Yeah, I knew that. I was testing you. Okay, thank you, Alex. Good, so July 21, registration closes. You'll have 24 hours to go find other people, bring them onto your team, go in the bunker, go on the app, you know, check in your um, geo chat on your app that we talked about last time. And following that 24 hours, my handwriting is getting increasingly better, obviously. Um, the merge will commence. The merge. We call it the merge because we want to connect people from around the world. We're in the business of that. We don't believe that people should be separate, that we should erect walls that uh, hatefully keep people out who could come in and be great stewards of a place. Um, anyway, 
I digress. Um, but there's a merge that happens. So let me describe that. Um, that's where we find gishers, individual gishers and partial teams. So people who are not either locked or it's uh, less than five. So for this year, the minimum team size is five. If you get five and you lock it, done. No one else will be added to your team. But if you're five or you're not locked, so if you chose a 15 member team and you have eight people, but you didn't lock, people will be at it. So you got to lock it down. Okay. Lock it down. So we're, we're going to give you about one to two. We're, it's going to take us about one to two days, one to two days. And then the rest of those days after we've done that merge. So it's one to two days to do this, where we add teams and even them out. And then you're going to want to get to know each other. So then you'll have a couple of days to do that. All right. So there's, it goes in steps. First, you want to do that. And then, you, yeah, you want to put a ring on it, actually. Thank you. That's right. Is the GeoMap only on the app? Yes, it is. You want to get the app. Um, OK. Do you team build with activity in the site? Uh, or let's see. Oh, my TV is going to turn off in a second. That's great. I have I put, I put your chat up there. Um, so the app is where you can use certain functions, the team chat and the geo map are in there. You don't have that in the, in the website. That's a very, they're two different uh, architectures. Um, someone was asking about making the teams bigger to say 16 to 20. Wow, I think you're, I know which extrovert, I mean, archetype you are, <clears throat> okay. We can discuss it. You'll be getting a survey after the hunt, maybe. We can ask that question. Um, how to tell who is active on the geo map. So uh, the geo map, as we discussed in the last session, has rings on each of the people and they will tell you if they're registered or not. Also, you can go into your, uh, there's a, a chat by region. You can go into that and see if people are, what's, what's happening. Um, all right, what is next? You know what, actually, I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, also, you, you wanna make sure to lock, through the website, just in case. If you're feeling like it's locking and unlocking, just go to the website. Um, and then somebody asked, uh, they're in an area where they're in COVID lockdown, which doesn't look like it's ending anytime soon. Am I still going to be useful to my team if I can't leave the house? 100% yes. There are gonna be a ton of items that require you to do work um, in, uh, from home, digitally, around the world, okay? you are gonna have a lot that you have to work on um, right from where you are. Um, will the guest panels be recorded by Yish? Yes, typically they are, that is correct, unless there's some sort of malfunction. Um, one other final uh, thing I'm gonna say about uh, the merge and locking is um, the majority rules. So if your team is merged with another team, a two small teams come together, the captain of the largest teams becomes the captain of the group. Uh, if you don't want that to happen, just fill up your team now and lock it down um, to prevent losing your captain status. Are you confused yet? Great, welcome to the um, What else can I tell you? Uh, read the commandments. Uh, I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but read them before the hunt starts. Read the rules and the commandments, they're there to uh, open your mind and give you some guidance, okay? What else do we have? Great. Uh, the final thing I'll say is get ready. Get ready because the hunt starts on the 31st of July, not January, on Saturday, July 31st at 7 a.m. There will be opening ceremonies and then you will also find out, you will see the list. There will be a list of activities. There will be a list of Zooms. We have some esteemed panelists who will be speaking. We have some great uh, interactive experiences. Um, but I'll get more into that in the next session. Uh, just to close out before I get to a Q&A here, just to, you know, we can answer some questions. Um, are there, uh, uh, remember, uh, top tiers, they give more to, to True Colors United. I think it's like three or four times more. I don't even remember. Um, and 
uh, you've got some great things in there. You've got a hat, um, you've got uh, some limited edition stuff that you can only get in the top tier. You've got the classes, you've got the plushy, you've got uh, the official hunt t-shirt, you've got, there's great stuff. Um, and then there's eight days left. If you know somebody who is having financial difficulty, let them know that we have a gift scholarship fund. We literally want them to have some joy and fun, Tor fun torture, torture. I don't know what that would be. Um, but we have some fun in store. This is gonna be one of the biggest yet. And uh, we are so excited because we just recently had a benefactor say, hey, I'm gonna help a bunch of people play. And I know that it's going to a good cause. I'm, I'm willing to throw in uh, for a few hundred gift scholarships. So if you know somebody and you wanna bring them onto your team and they're struggling, we've struggled through so much in the past 18 months plus, and maybe for longer than that. But this is an opportunity for everyone to come together to celebrate that we've made it this far and to have a little bit of fun and change the world just for a week. You know, Misha Collins has said a lot that he wants this one week a year to get so big that people have to take off, like that work shuts down, that entire neighborhoods just have a block party, that efficiency is at a minimum and art is at a maximum. Um, so I think, I think that'd be pretty cool. So let's see if we can grow this thing even bigger this year and, uh, have some fun. Um, all right. Questions, questions. Are there questions? You don't have any questions. Uh, yeah, somebody took a vacation. That's great. A gishcation. Good. Um, Let's see here. Any other questions before we go? Well, there's only eight days left. I don't want to keep you here too long. Let's see. All right. So uh, can we give the top tier class to the friend? Um, yeah, email support about that. Um, there will be opportunities to select that class. So there have been some people who've transferred their class to others, but we can't have both of you go. There's just a limited room and, you know, um, the resources are a little tight, so we want to make sure we get exactly what we need to help the uh, teachers and their men the mentors do their job. Um, what else? Can you gift an upgraded registration? Good question. No, we, we've talked about that. We, it's something we have considered, um, but not at the moment. You can uh, give them a basic registration, and then they can choose to do that. Yeah. What else? Uh, what if you can't get the app because of your phone? You do not need the app to do GISH. You want it though, for a number of reasons. Uh, not every item is something that will be doable for every person. We try to make it as inclusive as possible and accessible as possible, but there may be something you're better at, but there's always going to be something for everybody. There's always gonna be something that we can achieve together or you know you can do in your own way. And that, that's awesome too, you know? Um, what else? For full group items, do we get credit if a member goes for us? Yes. Yes, you do. Um, you do. And that can be, you can put that probably in the comments as well, I'm assuming. Um, cool. What else? Oh, somebody was asking about, um, let me see here. Two teams with more. Da, da. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just looking through. Are the same types of teams, uh, are they merged? Yes, we merge four fun teams and uh, in it to win it teams separately. We wanna merge the like-minded uh, nature of the reason they're gushing for sure, yeah. Yep. Um, the app, okay, uh, definitely upgrade your, to the update to the latest version of the app if you have it. Um, We've added a lot of stability improvements and there's some design things with the new models and devices, um, for sure. What else? <laughs> Gen C asked if we're gonna expand team size. Listen, hit that survey up. If there's enough people that ask for it, we'll explore it, you know? We're, we're not, not animals, you know? We love you all equally. All right, uh, let's see. When do we need to finalize our team name? So you should have a team name 
when you are already here, you should probably be on a team <clears throat> or join one uh, or create one. When you get merged, there will be the opportunity to change that name. Otherwise, it will default to this awesome thing. This is no joke. Let's say there are five tiny teams who then get merged into a team of like, uh, you know, let's say there are five groups of three and they want to all be on a 15 group team. It's like they, the, the word loves comes in between, right? So you'll see a team who's been merged and didn't change their name. And it's like, oh, Dean loves, Cass loves uh, marshmallow. Like it, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. It's just, it starts to turn into a whole, you'll see a team with like seven team names on it and it's awesome. Uh, we're just spreading the love. Um, can we see, okay, let's see. When an item is added to the list, as Flavia, do you usually alert in the bunker too? Or would you only slide the items into the list? Great question. So over the years, um, the list, which is, you know, between 100 and 200 items long is like, all right, the list. And then through the years, um, behind the scenes, you know, there are items and it's like, uh, high five Lamar Odom in Paraguay. Uh, build a Lego, my Ego, I, whatever it is, you have all these items. In, in the past, uh, items can shift and change at any time. You want to be going to the list as much as possible. That's step one. Uh, you should be anyway, because you're just cranking out items and getting in there and uploading. These change. And this is part of the game. And it's, part, it's the tricky part. Sometimes they'll be completely removed. Sometimes they'll be updated. Um, sometimes they'll be added. There uh, is an updates page, you know, where we get the news for on the GISH site now, which is gish.com forward slash updates. Um, there will be an updates page with listings. We also put the word out on social media. Um, we put it out on the app, but your safest and most reliable bet, if you're trying to get these items done, is go here. We don't have as many items removed, hopefully, as we once did because it was that can be a lot of cluster fun for everybody, but um, it's it can be it can be a lot, and there can be a lot of different reasons and items pulled, added to, removed, etc. You know, we're just trying to make sure that we're keeping people having fun and doing some good, and maybe doing something they didn't expect to do in their lives ever, or be saying something to themselves that they never thought they would ever say. That's awesome. Um, any final questions? All right, you will be getting a, a schedule of uh, the panels, hopefully in advance, maybe not, maybe when it goes live, we'll see. Um, but thank you for coming and I hope you learned some stuff. Our next session we will be announcing, we'll be covering the hunt, items, submissions, uh, how to upload, uh, everything that happens on the day, each day of the hunt and how it concludes from beginning to end. We want people this year to know how it works, but not what or why, because you never know. But the more you know how it works, hopefully the better experience you'll have, the better items can be created and you can have an awesome time. All right, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Kristen, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Mon, thank you, Berto. Party on.